as a public servant and a Christian, Governor Haslam has had decades of experience grappling with the complex challenges of faith influence on political ideology and policy making. It's no secret to anybody the country's divided. We're pretty, you know, the last, I think, eight presidential elections have been decided by single digits. We're not just divided, we're mad. Uh, and we're not just mad, but we think the other side has bad motives. Uh, even our churches are sort of cutting their eye teeth on culture. So many Christian denominations, at least, are having some of the worst fights I've seen denominations have right now. There is an almost existential fear among a lot of Christians um, that, uh, that the culture and the country that they um, have known um, is, um, is not only sliding away, but under attack and may very well die. And that kind of fear, that kind of existential fear can catalyze um, a lot of very negative emotions in people personally and in public life, um, including hate. If you really believe in the common good, okay, this, this idea that we're to be concerned about more than just ourselves and our tribe and our neighborhood and our church, then the best way I've seen to impact the common good really is politics. I am a person bone deep in hope. Hmm. And I, I just don't believe despair is that helpful. Launched earlier this year, this project is built on the idea that we must shift the tenor and substance of our national discourse to become a more united states.